Hey everybody, this is going to be a carry hero tier list, according to me, for 7.31D. Uh, I'm going to be going through my tiers of S, which is what I'll pretty much pick whenever. A, solid choices. B, only good, in, or only pick it when it's good. C, specifically countering something. D, I'm starting to play for fun. F, MMR is simply just a number when I pick this hero. And question mark is, I don't think these heroes are carries. So I wouldn't pick them at all. Banana slam giant. So let's go ahead and get into it and let's get started. So we're just gonna go in order for what we have down here. Uh, Alchemist, I actually think is probably the best, if not the second best carry of the patch. His timings are unstoppable. You get Radiance, Blink, BKB, AC, Bash or Strength Blink. Uh, that's usually the build. Sometimes you can go like Bloodthorns and stuff like this. But yeah, the hero just pretty much always hits his timings and they always feel very powerful. Um, he's also good against a lot of the summons heroes in the lane because of Acid Spray. Next up, we got Anti-Mage. I would have to put him in the I play for fun tier. I'm actually gonna demote him to the F tier because right now, a lot of push lineups, all the heroes in the off lane that Anti-Mage is good against aren't exactly popular. And so I just don't really see a point where I would ever pick Anti-Mage. Arc Warden, you know, I don't play Arc Warden, but his win rate's pretty high. I'm gonna put him in C just because I really don't understand the hero all that well but he could be higher. I'd pretty much say for Arc Warden, he's an average of C because if you don't play the hero, he's going to result in an F. And if you are an Arc Warden specialist, he seems like an A right now. Uh, I'll go for Bloodseeker. You know, a lot of people view Bloodseeker pretty highly. I'm going to be end up putting him in lower B tier. Specifically, like, I would put him in high C tier, low B tier because I think he's really good against like Pango and Void Spirit, just heroes that need to get ruptured. But the fact that BKB is a 90 second cooldown uh, makes this hero just seem a lot harder to play because he heavily relies on it. And the one thing I do like about him is his laning stage is like really strong. So I would put him in low B, high C. Bristleback, my boy in S tier. A lot of you, this may be a news flash. Bristleback is the hot shit right now. This hero goes Vanguard in the lane, Soul Ring into Ags, and you're just really good against summons heroes. You're really good in terms of pretty much everything. Uh, you're good against most of the meta heroes, and your timings, just like Alk, are really fast. My only concern about Bristleback for you guys is that he kind of needs the stacks, okay? Like, people kind of need to make a few stacks for you here and there, so you should ask for them. And if your team doesn't really try to fight around your Ag Scepter timing, then the hero feels relatively underwhelming. But I've won pretty much every game with Bristleback, and I hate playing against it. Broodmother, not a carry. Uh, I'd say CK... I, at the start of the patch, I thought he was still going to be really solid. Oddly enough, I just feel like he's really, like, here. CK's laning stage is much less reliable than it used to be, and... I feel like you just can't keep up with the pace of a lot of the popular carries as you're kind of going to start seeing a trend. The only reason I would pick CK if it's meant to just shit on the lane. A lot of ranged off laners kind of struggle against CK because of the reality rift gap close. His sustain in lane is nice against like harassing off laners, but he doesn't win every lane like he used to, and he doesn't feel like he carries as hard as he used to. I don't really know why. Clinks, I, I, I would say he's probably in C tier. I don't think this hero's like garbage enough to be D or F, but I don't have any specific reason why I personally would pick him. But like if somebody on my team picked Clinks, I wouldn't flame them. Uh, the hero's just in kind of like an in-between spot. His laning stage is weakerish, weakish, but his like late game's kind of strong. So Death Prophet, not a carry. Doom, not a carry. DK, I mean, for pubs, DK is just not a carry. It gets picked in professional sometimes, but it's just not a carry. Drow, I would put in the I play for fun tier. Uh, her win rate in lower brackets is pretty good, but in my bracket, it's not so good. The thing about Drow, like, I love Drow. You know, Drow, I, I, I love her. She's one of my favorite heroes. I have a really high win rate on Drow. 60% on Drow. I love Drow. I just feel like there's too many fuckers in my face. This patch. I just feel like... Even after if I've the enemy carry is an alchemist with radiance blink, I probably have dragon lance, hurricane pike, Yasha, and I get blinked on and die. <laughs> uh, Bristleback, you know, I'm trying to like get away from me, Bristle, as I slow him with frost arrows, and he just runs at me and hits me for 400 damage. Um, just too many heroes that get in my face right now is what it feels like for draw. Ember Spirit without coddle for pubs, I would say is just not really a carry. Like he gets picked in professional sometimes, but unless you have a coddle. Not really. Faces Void. I would actually put him in A tier. His win rate in my brackets, surprisingly high, about 52%. 
There's a lot of like ranged offlaners, like lack of disables, where the enemy has maybe one stun. And also, since your team has these ranged offlaners that don't really reliably stun, I'm noticing I want more stuns from the carry. Part of the reason why Alchemist is better. Part of the reason why Bristleback offering more in the mid game is relevant. It feels like out of all the stunning carries right now, Phaseless Void is just the best. Uh, you know, you don't farm as fast as these other carries, but the pretty standard Mask of Madness, Maelstrom, BKB. Um, usually they go like Lincolns or Scotty after that, and you usually hit this timing where that survivability item on top of the BKB comes out, and you get that level 20 talent, and with the attack speed in Chrono, and you're still killing people during Chrono. Best late game hero on the game, bar none, and his laning stage feels pretty decent, so um, I definitely put him up there. Gyro, without Wisp, is F tier. With Wisp, I'd put him in C tier. The hero just... It just doesn't feel good. You know, the heroes... You know how I mentioned how these timings feel so good with Alk and Bristol and all that kind of stuff? I, I don't feel any timings when I see or play this hero, so. Huskar, uh, I mean, I'd probably put him in D tier, like high D tier. Uh, it's like, the hero kind of just fell off. He got nerfed a lot. It's kind of similar to Drow where he meant to be like, he a lot of people in your face first off, but he meant to be like this pace and carry, you know, like the, the bristleback type of carry where he he's like online super early and all that, all that jazz. And I feel like there's just better heroes for it. I feel like there's just better heroes. Vogue or not a carry. Jug, I'd put an A tier. I would have put Jug S tier if you asked me like a week or two ago. He's just a reliable carry, but I've struggled immensely against heavy burst damage heroes like the likes of Tiny, who's become really popular mid in my bracket. Also, I've started every time I play Jug, I play either against Tiny or Faces Void. And Faces Void, because of Time Walk against Omni Slash and Chrono against Spin, is a really good matchup for Faces Void. So I would much prefer to be Faces Void in that matchup. So I still put Jug A tier because I think overall he's a very good pick. But I've started to have issues with hero specific heroes. Basically, Faces Void, Slardar, Tiny um, have been really big issues when I pick Jug. And that makes me not put him in S tier. Like, I first pick Alk and been against Necro Timbersaw and still won. You know? That's why it's, like, different for me. Kunkka, probably C tier. I don't really play Kunkka. The hero seems decent, but uh, I'll probably put him, like, back here. Maybe against, like, summons offlaners because of the Tidebringer. But the hero looks relatively underwhelming to me because he does rely on BKB a relatively high amount. Not a carry, unless you're Herald. Lifestealer, I would put... Probably around the same tier as CK. Lifestealer, what makes him good compared to Jug, for instance, is if he's against like strength offlaners, he can't really get booted out of lane unless it's like Slardar. But most of those strength offlaners can't boot him out of lane. So he can just sit in his own safe lane for like 15 minutes. It's kind of similar to Bristle in regards to you're going to keep your safe lane tower alive. And that's like really powerful. But if he can't do that purpose, the hero feels really underwhelming. So like pretty much 10th pick only, but in the games where he's good, I've... I've Feel like the hero's pretty strong. Not a carry. If you watch my stream, you understand that I hate this fucking hero, and I th do think he's more of a mid in pubs, but I know Matu plays him a lot as carry. This hero probably belongs in C tier because he's similar to Arc Warden. I'm gonna put him right next to Arc Warden because if you're a lone druid specialist, like meaning you have hundreds of games on lone druid, A tier. If you don't play Lone Druid at all, you're probably just going to lose. Luna, I play for fun. She's probably not bad enough to be F because there's probably situations where her laning stage dominance will be good. But for me, because BKB got nerfed so much, she pretty much needs a saving five, like a Baden or Oracle to make her itemization not feel like ass. And it just feels like there's better heroes most of the time. Uh, I'd say Lycan's an offlaner nowadays. I won't even put him in any of the tiers. I've seen a few people pick him carry, but I, I would just put him offlane. Medusa is probably low B tier for me in pub still. She's much slower paced than previously, but she's good against these summons lineups if you make it past like 20 minutes. Out of all the ranged carries, still feels the most reliable to me. My only issue is that she really struggles against these four heroes. So she's kind of just worse than them. Meepo, not a carry. Marana, not a carry. Monkey King, I would actually put Monkey King pretty high up, basically because of the same idea of what Lifestealer does, but I think he does it better. It needs to have a good lane to feel like a good hero, but only his only like real bad matchups right now are like Viper and Batrider, and if those heroes are out of the pool, Monkey King feels pretty good. He has a lot of different builds. He can go like the Hard Carry Battle Fury build. He can go like the Echo Saber Maelstrom or Echo Saber Deso BKB type build. So the hero is pretty flexible, and his lading stage is pretty strong against most matchups. Morphling, uh, I'd say is pretty much D tier. I never see this hero win. Even like the Grandmaster tier Morphling spammers, I feel like you're making the game hard for yourself. Could you win? Of course. But you're playing an incredibly mechanically hard hero and you're going to lose to an alchemist. <laughs>
<laughs> okay, like that doesn't seem very rewarding. <laughs> All right. I would actually put Naga in B tier, low B tier. I think she's like really good against single target heavy lineups. These offlane visages, Beastmasters, Slardars, anything like this. Pretty much TA, single target damage. Single target damage with a limited illusion clear. She's a solid illusion hero, especially against push heroes. So I put her in B because I'd pick her when she's good. I don't play Naga really, but I've seen her have pretty decent success. So Nature's Prophet's a dangerous one because if you're like really good at dota nature's prophet's a hero that can be anywhere and the benefit of that is the hero's balanced around that he can be anywhere but the negative of that is he's balanced around the fact that he can be anywhere so for new players i'd say nature's prophet's all the way down here um in my bracket uh he's a very strong carry that comes online pretty early and really high stat gains so he scales pretty well and his level 20 talent's still broken i'd probably put him in b tier with keeping in mind that i don't recommend you pick him <laughs> This is just, you know, for my bracket. Pretty much not a carry, unless you're DeHawk. Um, I wouldn't pick this in pubs. Not a carry, for the love of fucking God, do not pick carry OD in your pubs. Not a carry. PA, I would put her low C or high D. I'm just telling you guys, I played PA a few times. I've played against it and with it a lot. It has not won more than 30% of the games I'm in. The BKB nerf, the satanic nerf, the salves in lane, because she's like a battling carry that wants to kill you and then get salved up by a support, not by herself, because she doesn't have flash farm capabilities. The hero just feels ass. And I I mean, I'm like being generous to put it low C. I, it's like probably down here, but people pick it. I've actually seen it a decent amount. PL, I would actually put him high C. I think in games where they have no illusion clear and no push, like no way to force fights, PL's insanely good. Like I just win my games when I get free PL games. Uh, like they're just free wins, but it's super situational. I feel like most games, I don't want to play PL. All these other carries deal with you. Like I know Bristleback may seem like he doesn't deal with PL, but he does. Like the AOE ags, you dopple it off and then he just does it again. So I would pick PL against maybe Medusa or like a weaker carry on this list, but not against any of these. I don't like playing PL into any of these heroes. Not a carry. Razor, I would actually put him in low B. He's really the same idea as Lifestealer, but he's ranged and he shuts down heroes that can just get sucked to dry for, for damage. He's not particularly good against any of these carries, even Bristle. He's really not that great against anymore because the Ag slow is just obnoxious. He's okay though, but I would only pick him out of all these probably against Bristle. I'd pick him against Medusa, Lifestealer. I would need a good carry matchup basically for Razor to pick him. Ricky, MMR is just a number. I don't see this hero win. SF, uh, you're a Mason enjoyer and you think, you know, I don't really care about my MMR. Slardar, I honestly have mixed opinions on this one like i haven't actually played carry slardar but my theory has become that he's really freaking good against like pudge and i keep dealing with mid and offlane pudges so i'm gonna say like mid c tier okay i know that sounds weird but i i literally thought about this yesterday i haven't really tested it i've played slardar offlane a lot and done well but i think slardar carry might have a place because of the stupid heroes in the meta right now like pudge that are just like super tanky, you can't kill them, and then you just give them minus 20 armor, and they die. Slark, he's probably top of the F tier. I gave him my one game this patch. I've lost a Slark once. It was ILTW, absolutely free Slark game. I, my boy Slark, man. I'm my boy Slark. I don't really have much else to say. There's just always a better option. That's what I have to say. Sniper, I would put top of S tier, or bottom of S tier, top of A tier. Anytime I have a melee five and the opponent has a melee four, ranged three, this hero is god tier. Like, I'm saying you win the lane against these ranged offlaners that are supposed to win. You win against, like, Viper and Necro and all this kind of shit. You win against it. And worst case scenario, your support sucks, you draw even, and you shrapnel the wave in jungle. Oddly enough, Sniper's really good against Puck. I don't like him against Pudge. My only issue with Sniper is that these Alchemists and Bristles may be a little bit too fast-paced for you. That's my only issue with the hero. But Mask of Madness, Dragonlance, BKB into like damage items is pretty much the build at my bracket. If the game's a bit slower pace, you could probably get away with a Maelstrom. I'm not memeing. I think Sniper's incredibly strong. Uh, I know I lost the last one or two games with Sniper, but I had a huge win streak with him. Yeah, I had I had won seven games in a row. They all The hero feels really powerful, no doubt. Spectre, probably D tier. There's probably situations where you could pick her, but I'm never picking her. Storm, not a carry. Sven is bottom C tier. I think Sven is specifically very good against Lycan, like very good against Lycan. And that's about it.
I wouldn't really pick Sven any other time, but the two times I've picked Sven, I won because it was against Lycan, so. TA, probably bottom of A, top of B, probably here. Still a pretty solid hero, just slightly weaker than last patch due to the buffs of these other heroes, but her timings are still good. Deso, Dragonlance, BKB. She, she buys BKB, but she doesn't like rely on it, right? She contests Roche, she secures her own farm. Her and Medusa are my go-to range carries right now. Probably do like this for your pubs, just because Nature's Prophet's a bit dangerous. Terrorblade. Ah, I hate Terrorblade against Faceless Void, okay? But I really like him against these two heroes, and I really like, and I think he's fine against this hero. I'd put him in top of B, man. I feel like Terrorblade is good when the opponent's heroes say, I need to kill you on lanes, okay? Like, they're just gonna hunt you on lanes all game. Uh, a lot of pickoff, like, spear breakers and shit as, like, a prime example, but I don't see too many spear breakers. But he's really good against any heroes that rely on picking you off. He's the same idea as Sniper, where there's a lot of heroes like Puck that lock you down, and the best carries are ones that can, like, just stand their ground and hit you back, as, like, Monkey King, Sniper, you know, Bristle, all fit this description. And I feel like his landing stage with the meta buff is much better, um, and I I've, I've had pretty good success with TP. Uh, not a carry. I would say Tiny is mainly a mid now. I think in mid, he's like S tier, maybe A tier. But as carry, he's probably C tier. I don't even know when I would pick him, but he's like, if you guys want to pick him, I'm not going to flame you. That's really all I can say about the hero. He's just, they just nerfed his damage aspects of being a carry, and he just feels better mid now, or four. So, Troll is MMR is just a number. I watched uh, Matu play Troll for Liquid. It was 10th pick, and the final team fight lasted about 30 seconds. He just got, like, double Yulst, halberded twice, stunned, and he hit people four times in a 30 second long team fight. He was straight up near somebody the entire fight and hit them four times total. TLDR, no flame on Matu. This hero just gets kited and he sucks. Ursa, I would actually put him low B tier. His win rate's pretty decent. And most notably, he's really good once again, kind of like Slardar against like Pudge. He's, he's like Pudge's worst matchup. Um, he's really good matchup against these ultra beefy boys that want to tank. And sometimes I've just had these games where you're against Pudge and you can't kill him. And uh, he's like the number one that happens this patch. Oddly enough, Pudge is not in here. I'd probably put him on B tier myself. I un ironically think Pudge, if you're against a lot of magic damage over time, is unkillable and absolutely carries the game. Viper, not a carry. Weaver, I've actually had some decent success with Weaver. So the reason why Weaver for me has gone up in value is that I have a lot of people picking mid Alk, mid Arc Warden, people kind of trying these mid carries. And if I have a mid carry, I know I'm not gonna get that much help from my team. And Weaver's probably the best like independent carry in the game. Like you just don't really need much help. Even if your lane goes kind of to shit, you can recover somewhere just because Sakuchi is such a good recovery tool. So I would put, I'd probably put him low B because of the fact that there's very specific situations that I would pick him and he feels pretty solid in those, but otherwise I just wouldn't. Windranger, we've seen a bit of it as a carry, like no meme. I'd still put him in like low C. Has to be specifically a Wind Ranger game, and you have to play Wind Ranger. I don't play Wind Ranger. Wraith King has felt kind of underwhelming. Start of the patch, he felt really strong, and he just matches up really badly against these two heroes, really badly. I wouldn't want to play him against these two heroes either. I feel like there's just a hard game to get good carry matchups. I'd pretty much only pick Wraith King into Void, and it still doesn't feel like that amazing. So probably only against Void, and he's like decent otherwise, like not great, but not terrible. So probably, probably middle C. Bad and not a carry. Let's track my boy. Uh, specifically very good if the opponent has Naga, PL, and or Timbersaw. Um, ideally, you want him with Oracle or Io. Uh, some save support. So I'm going to put him low B because I think in the games where you're supposed to pick him, he's like insanely powerful. Uh, specifically against Timber offlane, I think he's insanely powerful. But uh, if you have a save support or a hero like Coddle or CM that gives you mana, mainly Coddle or Io are your best ones. This hero can actually fucking carry. Uh, no Kappa. Night Stalker, not really a carry by my book. Silencer, 100% not a carry. Yikes. And Spear Breaker, not a carry. Um, yeah. Uh, I would say, looking over my list, this seems like a pretty reasonable list to me from what I view about Dota. So if you're wondering what heroes that I think you should pick to gain MMR this patch, this is the overall tier list of carry for BSJ 7.31D. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Like, comment, subscribe, etc.